Hello, my name is Marie-Ange Levent. Today I'm going to talk about different projects we've been uh, leading uh, during those two last years that were very innovative. The first one is about text mining, and then I'm going to talk about social network analysis and also big data. So thanks uh, to Philippe and Franck inviting me to share some uh, experience I've been um, leading at PwC. Actually, I've been working in the data world for about 10 years. It was quite hard for me to find people who understand what I say. And each time I applied for a job when I say, OK, I would like to work in data mining, or even if I try to put that in very simple words, it was quite difficult to make me understood. So, um, but here I am. I will. Uh, introduce you to three different uh, projects we've been um, we have had in at PDRC. Um, the first one is about text mining. The second in the set social network analysis, and the third one uh, with big data. I know a lot of people talk about big data. I think here we really had a lot of challenges. Um, with uh, very crappy and uh, weird data. Uh, so let's go to the text mining. In text mining, usually uh, there are different subjects, if any of you know, such as sentiment analysis, uh, entity extraction, and also classification. And here in this case, we used Anatella and Timmy for classification. So what was it about? We had people who were reviewing contracts during years and years and years, and it was just people behind a computer, and they were like sliding all over the contract, and then going into an Excel and put the contract into a different types. So it took years to, uh, to classify those contracts. And then after a while, the client asked, hey, would it be a way to automate a bit what you guys are doing. So um, then one of the partner came to me and we, we then applied the, um, the, the Anatella to, to process this mo mostly autom uh, in an automated way. Uh, yeah, just to give you an idea, we had about 1,100 contracts and here I just give you two examples of types, but we had more than 20 types to, to classify. So how did it work? So basically first, the contracts are in, in an image format, so we converted them. We converted them into a text format. And then, directly then, from there, we use Anatella to push them into each contract into a, single, uh, into a single cell of a data set. Then, based on that, uh, we defined the different segment because all the classification had to be uh, put into account that they are from different languages. So for here again, we used Timmy. I don't know if any of you have been using the text mining modules. So here we could do a prediction on the language um, with uh, the mouth. And then finally, we use the bag of words to do, uh, actually to create all the variables that will serve for the, um, for the uh, classification. So again, the text mining is a lot of uh, new challenges compared to structured data. We have a lot of variables and a lot of noisy variable, but still, we succeed to create um, the model. So before that, we define the target. And then um, I want to give you all the different results, but we reach a very good uh, hit rate for the different types we, we classified. So, so in the end, it looked very simple. And actually, it only took two weeks to get this done compared to a year of reviewing this manually. So it's really impressive. And now, um, so now we, it's happening and it's just automated. 
The second um, big project we had is actually it's a no, actually it's an ad hoc project. So at PwC, I'm working in the forensics department, which is basically uh, all the fraud investigation coming into our department. Uh, so what's happening is for this specific case, we had a fraud investigation on people and we had to find out what they did wrong. So um, we collected their emails and we had a lot of email from the two people they call being their custodian, so the suspects. And just asking to my colleague uh, the logs of the email, I told them, okay, we're gonna create a social network of those two guys to create and to try to, to see if something could give us more hint on the investigation. And actually, in one day, we browsed all the millions of mails and we identified that an additional suspect should have been also uh, uh, investigated. So this is the third guy. So how did it look like? Yeah, I try to hide the names and I guess from here you can't see. <laughs> but uh, so we used the social network, the graph mining modules. We collected all the emails. We had to yeah, go s through some cleaning beforehand. And then um, we, we used the community detection and node analysis to, um, to throw afterwards into Giphy. This visualization, I, I guess, uh, in the telco you use it. No, oh, okay. <laughs> so uh, Gephi is a um, is a freeware yeah, that uh, that yeah that for on, on from which we throw all the data that has been analyzed from the network and the community detection, and here is it. It is so there was this third person. We could. Uh, we could show directly to our colleagues, hey, I think we, you, you guys forgot this person. So um, that, that was the, the second project. And the third project, it's called, um, it's in the area of uh, telco client. And for this, actually, what we did is about threat intelligence. Threat intelligence is about, yeah, fighting kind of cyber intrusion. So for this, the data we collected are logs from our client going through um, the FTP exchanges. Uh, we had like every month a log coming in and those logs were very, very big. Um, and it was in the end just about IP address from a server to another server. In the end, we had a huge a huge data set that were more than 100 millions of communication flows when we consolidate everything. So we pushed everything um, into Anatella and next to that we also bought the I2P location which is actually a database that contains all the IP address, domain, uh, geo, uh, geo, lo, lo, geo information and so on. Uh, that was one of the things we did, and basically we also applied social network analysis on the different communication flow. And again, you can see that there are some weird stuff going on that, that the people in the IT security could re review uh, quite fast. And on the other hand, we also map with this uh, analysis, and they also could see then that there were flows exchanged in very weird country, and they realized that all those were completely unauthorized flow. So if you see, like, they realized that in Belarusia, no information should be sent over there, and they were, so they could act very fast. Um, so that was uh, the, last, um, the last project. We've been doing a lot of, and usually in the fraud investigation, the main challenge is to act very fast because in two weeks' time, the client needs to know what's going on, what needs to be done. And if you take it like a year project, the project will be, will be killed. So usually here, uh, for all the other projects, uh, thanks to Anatella, we could act very fast and also do a lot of innovative projects. 
if you have any question, then I can come back uh, during the pizza break. <laughs> and uh, yes, so I welcome Christophe to go on with the uh, second presentation. Yeah. Thank you. So you've seen those three projects on uh, text mining, social network analysis, and big data. Thank you for watching.